welcome guys i hope you're having a beautifully phenomenally blessed day thank you for joining me for another moment in becky's house of cards it's a true honor being here giving you guys these readings in hopes that they remind you that you are the ones with the power to make those decisions for yourself to go within and find those answers I want to thank you to all my new subscribers and all of my returning watchers. It is a true blessing and an honor to be here with you guys spending this time and space. So please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And today we are going down the rabbit hole with the collective message and what do they think about me knowing the truth? Dun dun dun. So you guys spoke the truth. What do they know? Like, what are they thinking? What's going on? Um, I totally spaced out drawing some ghetto messages or some messages from the ghetto bag in my last uh, my last reading. So I apologize to those of you that watched that. And you're like, hey, she didn't pull any messages. That was my bad. <laughs> so I'll try to do that today. I just got so excited about the reading that I just kind of forgot. But yeah, let's get into it. Source, uh, what messages do you have for the collective? What do they think about them now knowing the truth? What do they think about them now knowing the truth? What messages do you have for the collective source? I feel like you've given them some kind of confidence in themselves, like that things are going to end up okay. Like there's this energy of that they were afraid that things weren't going to work out. And now that you've told them some sense of truth, that it's like they have a new, a newfound sense of confidence coming in that like things are going to be okay, that there's going to be equal give and take. And then they don't have to worry about, you know, something to do with like they were spending too much money and that they weren't able to overcome things. And you've given them a sense that everything's going to turn out all right. Like if they make a decision moving forward, that now things are going to really, truly be OK. And you've given them hope, a lot of hope coming through, a lot of hope in the situation and what's happening around and they feel like at first maybe there was a little bit of trickery going on. So they know, I think maybe they thought you were playing them. And then they realized that you were being sincere in your emotions. And that kind of gave them a new meaning to how they approached the situation. But they didn't know that at first. They didn't know you were sincere. I think it scared them. The source, what messages do you have for the collective and what this person thinks about them now that they know the truth? Now that they know the truth of the situation. This could be a family member, a friend. This could be a lover. It could be a child. It doesn't matter. Whoever it is that you're thinking about, we'll find out. What do they know? What do they think now that they know the truth? You've changed their perspective on things and they realize that they have the power to go within. What do they know now? What do they think now that they know the truth? I keep saying, what do they know now that they know the truth? Like, <laughs> so they know that that's what I keep saying. Like, they know that they want to do something. That's why that keeps coming out. Like, they feel like they manifested you. They feel like they manifested this connection or they manifested the truth. Like, they wanted the truth. And now that they have the truth, like, they feel stronger because of it. So what do they think about them, the collective, now that they know the truth? Okay, guys, I know that was a long shuffle. My bad. <laughs> It's just had to keep coming. Nope. Okay. I thought a card was coming out right there. Whoa. Hold up, guys. Hold on. That card went flying all the way over here. Let's see what's coming out. Look. Pope. Cutting out strong. So commitment. Um, definitely being that helping hand to people. Like, you know, giving guidance, spiritual guidance, spiritual. Like, I heard spiritual guru here. <laughs> So something to do with your guys' spirituality. Like, they know now that they can be more open about spirituality with you. It's not so cut and dry with you. You feel like they feel... Like, that gives them a sense of freedom. And I feel like they keep... Like, they reach out to you. And without you knowing, like, they're asking questions that are helping them see things from a higher perspective. And it's helping them connect with a higher cause within themselves. And they like that. Like, it's like now that they know the truth about who you are, it's like it's opened themselves up to seeing things from a different, a different space. Okay. Yeah. Because they've always been the person that's thwarted their own efforts. I feel like they've seen things from a much higher perspective with before, but the problem is, is that nobody else has thought this way. And so this, like the King of Wands in reverse is like self-sabotage. So what do they think? Like they're they're glad that you've come along because it's helped them to realize that they were self-sabotaging 
and that they were being conceited in their approach to the future in life. They really thought it had to be cut and dry. Black and white is what I hear. It had to be so black and white. It had to be this certain way. It couldn't be the way that I wanted it to be, which I feel like this is the view that they've always had, but they've had to keep this under wraps. Like this person's a true spiritual person. Like they really are, but until you told them the truth, whatever truth you told them, they really didn't feel like they could be that way. And they felt like they had to manipulate a lot of people. They had to manipulate themselves. That's really what it comes down to. Like they could be a manipulator, but, and, and I feel like it caused them to fall off this high horse. Like, you know, like the horse kicked and they fell off and it was kind of like that jarred them. It was like, whoa, like I can't manipulate this person. I know the truth. Like they see right through me. How do they see me? No one's seen me like this before. Like a lot of vulnerabilities I hear. A lot of vulnerabilities. Yeah, but see, it's like caused them. We have 4-4 four, four coming out here with the Emperor and the Four of Wands coming out. It's like it's caused them to overcome some sort of stalemate in their life. So for some of them, they could have been stuck in their creative endeavors. They could have been stuck in passion. They could have been stuck when it comes to love. They could have been stuck when it comes to just life in general. Feeling, I hear feeling like there was no way out. But it's like you... You telling them the truth has helped them view this part of themselves that they didn't like. That they didn't... This is the mask that they were wearing. This is the mask that they'd been wearing for a long time. And that caused them to really look at that and really see what it was that they were offering to people. Okay, we've got a stack of cards here. Let's see what's coming out. They didn't know how to set up boundaries when it came to other people. I see, look, 5-5, five, five, look, 4-4 four, four here and 5-5. Five, five. So there's definitely some sort of, like, progress. And I feel like they're beginning to see some sort of synchronicities with their own life. Things that they didn't want to mention or admit before. It's like they just kind of saw it as a coincidence, not as a synchronicity or a confirmation. And now I feel like they're looking for confirmation everywhere. They're like, oh, that's a confirmation. Oh, that's a confirmation. Oh, that's a conf You know what I mean? And it's like overcoming the negativity in their lives. It's like they're realizing that it doesn't matter. This this mask that they were wearing right here, like this is their their energy. This is their energy. They they're like I'm ready to put that down because with you, collective, they can be open and real and strong. And to go from you know this king into this emperor or into this pope energy, it's even even more spiritual than the emperor like the emperor rules the people the material realm right he's the one that's able to really take charge and lead people and it's like this person doesn't even want to do that like this person just wants to be free in their expression of spirituality yeah because that's the thing like they realized that they were being so here's the thing i think maybe at one point they maybe have judged you for what you did and they feel guilty about that now and they realize that you're the one that opened their eyes. Like, they feel like they judged you wrongly and poorly. And they see that you're, you know, like, that bigoted attitude. It's like, I'm going to I'm gonna judge you for something that I myself do, but I'm not willing to share that part of myself with people. And it was like, finally, you got a chance, you, collective, got a chance to tell this person the truth of you. And they saw you. Like, it wasn't hearing your truth through other people which I feel like is what they've done this whole time it's like they were trying to find out so much about you from everybody else and everybody else had their own opinions or versions of what you were and it's like they just kind of had to piece together these puzzle pieces of what people were telling them and it's not the truth yeah this okay so so for some of you guys this person is definitely a lover like and the reason they were doing this is because they're obsessed with you. Like, they 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 want to have a physical relationship with you. They want sex with you. And they want to offer you. But it's like they realize, like, they realize that there was an immaturity to their own approach when it came to, to sex. It was like when it came to you, it's like they wanted to offer you something. But all they knew how to offer you was sex because they really thought that's all that you wanted. Again, piecing together those puzzles. Now, for others of you, this is just that, that general, they want that connection. They want a deeper connection with you. But again, piecing together those puzzle pieces that everybody else was giving them, it kind of made a wonky puzzle and it wasn't making any sense until they actually got to spend time with you and hear your truth, right? It's like, 
you finally opened up and told them the truth and then they finally it was almost like a light bulb moment came off for them like they oh my gosh like this person's not at all like what i thought they were this person is not at all like what how i thought you know like how everybody paints them out to be like i feel like a lot of people were painting you out to be selfish oh that card came flying out okay i feel like a lot of people are painting you out to be selfish and and weird and different and really at the end of the day it's no look yeah you you persevere like i think that's the thing like you you know about people who've done this that's the thing you're very spiritual like you're very open you you could be the high priestess or the pope s energy right we have the pope and the pope s in my deck and so you could be the pope s and it's like that's being that high priest or that high priestess and it's like you knew it's like you knew that this person was getting information on you You knew this person's been watching you you knew this person was trying to build some sort of determination about you I feel like at one point it kind of made you worry that they were going to try and control you or like try to bring some sense of control into this connection. But then you realize the creative way to give them the truth. Like you, you're like, no, look, I'm going to, I'm stable in who I am. I'm okay with who I am and what I'm doing. And let me show you the, the truth in that. Like, let me bring that to you. And that really, look, I sh shuffled these and a five of swords is on the bottom and the upright again. Yeah. This is just about overcoming that negativity that, and I think that you've been, with this Nine of Swords coming out, like you've inspired them to help overcome the negativity in their own lives. So whether this is a person you're interested in romantically or whether this is a family member, it doesn't matter. Like this person, they want to overcome that heartache and that hardship. So we've got death coming out in the reverse, number four again. So 444 could follow you guys, could follow this person. But the thing is, is that this caused them to have an egoic death, like, and it left them in a stage of grief, or it's about to leave them in a stage of grief. Like, this is catatonic grief. Like, this is, this is, their life changes in such a way that they don't know if they can move on. And it's all because of the past. Like, they're trying to cut out being in this control. They're trying to cut out being in this place of no boundaries. They're trying to cut out being in this energy of, like, trying to impress others because they're afraid of what people are going to say about them you know they want to overcome that they want to they want to get through that beyond that but before it's like they've only made decisions based on what people have thought about them and that's why they've never taken action and they've always worn this mask they've always worn this mask it's like this isn't something like now that they know the truth of you it's like only with you can they let down the mask but with society they still go out putting on this mask and they don't want to like, they don't want to anymore. With the Four of Wands here and the Nine of, of, of Swords, like, they don't want to do this anymore. They don't want to bear this burden. They want to have growth with you. They want to let go of failed relationships. They want to have luck and fortune in their lives because they're tired of fighting against the lies and the bullshit that's not serving them. They want an extended family, happy family with you, right? And then look, because they're tired of running into the future not knowing. They're tired of running into the future not knowing. They want to have balance. They want to have success and balance. They want that life of luxury, but they realize that life of luxury is having hope and faith. It's not about money. It's hope and faith. And I feel like this person's fought a lot with greed. I feel like they've fought a lot of people about greed. I feel like this person's always had a reversal of fortune in their lives and bad relationships. I feel like I need to shuffle this could be a cancer a libra uh aries that you're dealing with could be also a taurus we've got taurus energy coming out but leo energy falling out here <laughs> i feel like this person sees you and you've forced them to do some soul seeking and now that they know the truth like i mean we'll, we'll definitely see where it's headed it hasn't really said anything about you it's just kind of like what you've caused in their own life right like you and for them to go into this, it means that they want to make themselves a better person for you. If It's like they want to be a better person for you. They want to be a better person so that they can be in your life because they realize that you, you cut people out easily. They realize that you cut people out easily. My dog, are you okay, mama? Go get some water, baby. She's over here coughing. Are you okay? Oh, poor thing. Sorry about that, guys. She's over here coughing. She's overcoming whatever sickness she had. She's much better now. Much, much better. So if you guys sent out prayers for her, thank you so very much. I truly appreciate that. You guys are amazing for looking out, just being kind. 
so funny. It's talking about her, and there's two dogs on the moon card here. Just some synchronicities coming through. Yeah, look at this. Oh, my Lord. Okay. So, yeah, this person, you caused them to deal with the mother wound within themselves. I feel like you maybe brought it up, or maybe you telling them the truth realized that they never had that nurturing in their lives that they wanted, and they never had the nurturing in their lives that they needed. And this is like plumbing of deep subconscious uh patterns and and old habits that they're holding on to that just aren't serving them it's like bringing that up could be a pisces you're dealing with but look we have the two of cups and the nine of cups on the bottom here in the upright it's like they want to have that love with you and they want to have abundance with you and love and growth and clarity and they want to overcome emotional anguish with you like for the moon to be here it's like i keep hearing I want somebody that's a partner when I'm emotionally distraught. Like, I need somebody in my life that understands the depth of who I am. That's what's coming through really strongly right now because they're tired of trying to... This is like peer pressure, like following following the crowd. It's like they're tired of following the crowd because the crowd doesn't give a damn about them. The crowd only makes them feel like they can't change. And they found strength in you right they found strength in you and they want to embody that strength and they want to keep changing and they want to they want good things with you like they want to grow and and have this everlasting love with you whether this is a family member a lover or friend it doesn't matter this could be even a child maybe you had you know a disconnect with a child somewhere along the way and then finally you like told them something i don't know why that's coming out so strong right now but it is but it's like maybe you just told them something about their lives or why you weren't able to be the parent that you needed to be for them and it just kind of like let them let go of that past and to really start digging deep into why they are the way that they are we have the nine of swords coming out again on the bottom and the upright yeah they want success here like they want to overcome to persevere to overcome the negativity the anguish the the lies the bullshit like it's they don't they don't want to keep fighting this anymore. Strength came out in the reverse to clarify the emperor in the reverse. So I feel like that's the thing. Like they didn't realize that they were repressing this mother wound. And so you kind of opened that up to them. And it was like in opening that up, it just, it changed everything for them. It changed everything for them. It made them realize that life is more about what we create it, not what we think it is. It's more about how we choose to manifest. And if we want something to change in our lives, we have to change that. Seven of Swords coming out. Yeah, Perseverance, no matter what's happening. So the Swords cards, when they come out in the upright for five, seven, and nine, for all the odd numbers here, five, seven, and nine are all about, like, this is overcoming hardships. This is great perse perseverance. And the Five of Swords is all about um, overcoming negativity. So look at that. You have five, seven, and nine coming out right here in a pattern. And then the Nine of Swords on the bottom again over here. Just saying that, you know, again, they just want to overcome the hardships. It's like you've shown them that the hardships are not who they are. It's like I feel like for a long time before their truth came in, before your truth came in, they really felt like they were their hardships and that that was just devastating to them. It was just overwhelming and heartbreaking. And they were just like, this is really the life that I have to live. And then here you come in with the truth and they're just like, whoa, wait a minute. That's really not what it's like. Ooh, we've got two pages together. Check out one of my other readings that I just recently uploaded. Um, it could be before or after this one. Check it out because you guys might resonate with it. Um, I wish I knew what it's called. If I remember, I will put it down in the description. If I don't remember, don't be mad, guys, because I'm constantly making videos and doing stuff. So, But just check out my collective readings. It will be They'll be uh, pretty sequential. So it'll be either this, this one will go first or the other one will go first. But if you guys caught the one before this and, and you guys know, then you know. But... Um, this person could also be involved in a legal situation. The Page of Swords has made a huge appearance today. And the thing is, is that I feel like that's why they were so afraid to move forward. I feel like they really thought that... This was like a decision. This was a decision that if they didn't have the truth that you gave them they couldn't make this decision and now it's like they have to like now they have to make this decision except the the hard part of it is is there's more than one person that's involved in this decision and so this is about carefully making a strategy and planning because honestly if i could tell you guys the truth 
this is energy of them just wanting to up and leave the life that they have right now and come and be with you. Look, we've got the Two of Cups making an appearance again on the bottom. Yeah, they just, they want to up and leave this life and come with you. Like, they, they're just, like, done with whatever it is that they're dealing with. It's almost like I, I heard, will you run away with me? Will you please run away with me so we don't have to deal with bullshit anymore? Like, let's just deal with each other because I can deal with that. Yeah, they want stability with you. They want financial stability, family. They want a home with you. They want all good things with you. Like, they don't... You are their stability. It was because of this truth that you gave them a reason to want stability and to set up boundaries and to, to realize that they don't have to put up with this energy that's been in their lives. Like, this lies, this, this upset. I feel like this Two of Cups and this Nine of Cups really want to come out. So I'm going to put these here. I'm going to ask Source for one last message. Okay. All right. What do we got here? Yeah, the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is somebody who's very afraid to take a risk. I just want you guys to understand, like, for the King of Pentacles to come out as a last message and the Knight of Cups to come out, this person, before they knew your truth, which, again, we have the lovers underneath the Knight of Cups here. This could be about a love relationship or, again, coming back to that spiritual expansion they felt so hemmed in because they were afraid to take a risk because they were afraid of how they appeared to the outside world, even though they knew that there must be something more. Even though that they knew that there must be something more. So they were very superficial in their approach to love, very superficial in their approach to the world around them. And they didn't want to change, like this refusal to change what was going on because they thought that that was what stability was. And they realized that it wasn't. Like you came in as the, what did I say at the beginning? You were the Pope S. Look at this. Boom. Here you are. You came in and you're like, look, let me show you the way things are. Let me show you that there's somebody in your life that keeps messing up 6-6 six, six together here. Keeps messing up your relationships. Like, they're, they're only greed. Like, that's all they want is money from you. And it was like, they realized that they have to move on from this, but they're scared. I feel like, and you gave them courage to to move on like you gave them courage to move forward from that i'll try and see if there's one more message for you i don't know why i feel like i should but we'll see what comes out do you have any last messages for the collective source before we move on to the oracle cards any last messages for the collective yeah okay let's see what came out like we have the four of uh, cups coming out that's what they want with you guys now like they're looking into their past to overcome this right this is the subconscious coming out with this king of coins in the reverse this is their subconscious mind coming in and saying look i'm done being in this place that doesn't suit me i want to take action i want to move forward i want to get out of this like i need to get out of this because it's not serving me yes maybe they're not coming as a king right now but they're coming with the best that they got and if that is a knight guess what don't turn them down because you're the reason and I don't want you guys to feel like a burden of this or anything because it's not like that at all. It's like, but you're the, you, you gave them hope in an otherwise hopeless situation. I'm surprised the star didn't make an appearance here, but that's okay. Because I think what was said was enough to ensure that you gave them hope. Like they're seriously afraid of changing. They were seriously afraid of completing this cycle, but it's like you came in and it was like, they had to look at all these things that weren't serving them any longer. Activation win. Yeah. You helped activate their soul. It's like activating your soul gift, your soul purpose, like who you are. That's what this card talks about. Yeah. You were like a defining factor in helping this person activate themselves. So if this is a love relationship, just know that this person definitely reciprocates the love that you have for them. Uh, they definitely want something of this, but don't give up. You've got stone people coming in, vigilance. Like This is staying true to your course, staying true to what you're doing with your own journey because sometimes it might take time. Like If this is a legal situation that has to come in, we all know how long it takes for legal shit to happen. You know, and this is just saying to stay true to your path because you're going to have to weather some storms. And I feel like this person is going to look to you to be a support system for them while these storms are going on. But it's not going to change anything because there's still a lot of passion here. This person has a lot of passion for you. I feel like you got a lot of passion for this person. So whatever the circumstances is, there's just a lot of care and connection here. And it's unusual, right? It's unusual because it's like... Before they knew this truth, they weren't going to change. Yeah, look, 
companionship dog number 41 5 which is change like you change them and now they want companionship like they want your companionship take that as it resonates as, again if it's a child if it's a parent if it's a family member if it's a friend if it's a lover it doesn't matter they want loyalty in their life and they think that you're the one that's going to be loyal and i feel like you believe that this person is loyal to you well, this is confirmation of that. This is saying that this person is going to stand beside you like through thick and thin, right? They're going to go to like, there's going to be battles that are coming in. Like I'm really getting that with this guy with his, I don't know if you can see him holding the bow and arrow right there, right there. But it's like, that's like news of some battles that are coming in here. That's what I'm getting from this card. And it's like, you guys are going to show up stronger than ever before because it's like, you know, when you have a true support system, like somebody that stands beside you no matter what at the end of the day and they're cheering you on no matter what, it's like that's the kind of energy that's coming through here. This person is going to cheer you on through everything and you're going to cheer them on through everything. You help them change. 25, observation, peregrine, falcon. You help them connect with their third eye. You help them connect with their inner truth. And it's so funny because we have truth on the bottom, 44, jackal truth. Like this is talking about how maybe you told them that somebody was lying to them. Maybe you told them that somebody was taking them for a ride. Maybe you told them that somebody wasn't being honest with them. You know, again, whatever the circumstances that you told them, the truth that you told them, even if it was just that you love them and you want the best for them, like that truth is what really opened them up to seeing things from an entirely different perspective. Again, all our cups cards coming out in the upright. This is a lot of love here, guys. So again, if this is a lover, then cool. That's awesome. But I also want you guys of you to know that whoever it was that you told the truth to, if it's not a lover, like this is this is a soul connection. Like this is a deep soul connection that's going to stand the test of time. It really is. And I think I said that at the beginning too. It's like this is... This is that energy of coming through saying, look, I've got something so strong. I have a friend. I have a family member. I have a lover in my life that just is my rock through thick and thin. And the whole purpose and the whole reason that this happened, we have 39, number 11. You just did it. You said what needed to be said because you were being authentic. It says be real and true to who you are and how you feel. This is what caused it. This is what caused this shift. So what do they think now that they, about knowing the truth? Like, they're like so thankful. That I keep hearing like, I, I can't express my gratitude. Maybe they haven't said thank you to you, but their thank you is going to show in their actions. I like guess it's funny. When I said that, I saw the action speak loudly card. And I feel like that's it. Like they're, they're going to, they're going to show you, they're not going to tell you like, this is not going to be about telling you anything. And yeah, they are going to, it's not that like, they're going to not share their love with you. It's that this person truly is going to show you how thankful they are with whatever it is that you help them see. Like, it's just, it's such an interesting energy. Like they don't know how to, okay. I feel like both of these want to come out. Look at this miracle and blessings. The number 13 card. Everything has its gift, and I think you showed them that. You showed them that whatever it was that was going on before you spoke your truth was just a part of a gift to them to help them realize their own worth. And then it says, like attracts like. If you long to be more love, or if you long for more love, be more loving. And I feel like that, again, like there's this energy of just coming through and being honest about the way you felt about this person. Regardless, it's just like you've been waiting to tell them something for a long time. And it was like, that's what opened you guys up to being more loving. It says, do, do something for someone. Give your attention to another. Yeah, this person, they're just thankful. They're just thankful that you showed them this. So, and I feel like this is going to, like, there may be a stagnation period where you don't hear from this person. And don't freak out. Don't freak out because I know it's easy to freak out. But the reason being is because they're in deep contemplation right now. Like it's definitely getting hermit energy, but it's something that you help trigger within them is like hermit energy to help them come into a place of more groundedness within their own journey. And that was good for them. It was really good for them because it was like they needed to think about this. They really needed to think about what was going on and they needed to realize what was going to be good for them. Maiden Magu, number 16. This card is popular. This card is so popular. It's okay. I love that. Source threw it out. You guys all saw how it threw out there. So, <laughs> yeah, this is, I understand why this card came out. So I'm going to read this to you guys. 
definitely take a look at the picture. If anything stands out to you guys, definitely check out the symbolism of it. See what resonates with you. It says the Maiden Magu, Goddess of Spring, Healing and Transformation brings you assistance. Now, again, that truly, like the death energy coming through, right? You are asked to honor that light can come from even the darkest beginnings, beloved one. In fact, sometimes we need to enter into the unknown parts of ourselves to find exactly what we need to grow in peace, creative self-fulfillment, and happiness. The challenge can be to trust what will arise from this darker place again. Just as a spring always follows the winter, beloved, so too will any inner work with the shadow proceed a beautiful rebirth for you. Didn't I just say that like there might be a period of stagnation and it might cause you to fear and worry? And that's what they're saying. Just don't worry about it. Like, there's a reason for that. This person has a lot of contemplation to do. And it's like you kind of put a lot on them all at once. And it's nothing bad. It's just this person has a lot to deal with, right? And that's okay. It's like you just have to allow them to work it out and deal with it. <laughs> Maiden Magu, an immortal expression of the Divine Mother of the East, now brings you a special message from Kuan Yin. She guides you to trust that if you enter into the darkness of the unknown parts of yourself, you will emerge into light, reassembled and reborn once more. If you're going through chaos in your life because you're allowing yourself to grow, right? It feels chaotic, but it's so that you can grow. Maiden Magu also reassures that the order and light will emerge out of the chaos in due course. Have faith and keep growing. In order to grow spiritually, there are times when we simply must delve within and find our shadow. It is easier to perceive the effect of the shadow than the shadow itself. The effect of the shadow is just positive or negative of another that we do not think is related to us per personally we may mightily admire or despise characteristics or traits in another and yet when such judgments arise it is a part of us that is seeking to be integrated and expressed trying to get our attention through our judgment noticing our judgments of others is the quickest way to get in touch with the shadow self trying to grow and heal into our conscious awareness so that we can become more whole empowered and divinely delicious as we were always meant to be. That's such a powerful line. Divinely delicious. This is especially so if this card has arise, Has come. Your judgment might be a strong reaction to a person who seems to be self-centered and self-obsessed. The shadow and the self trying to communicate with you through this judgment might be the part of your own consciousness that wishes to be more supportive of the self. It will no longer allow you to put yourself behind others, but instead encourage you to express yourself and to take up space with presence. So this is what you've done with this person. You've spoken the truth to them, and it's made them want to express themselves in a different way than they've ever expressed themselves before. And I think it's scaring them. Like, I think this really frightens them. There's a lot of resistance here. On both parts, I feel like for you, it's just like a resistance of like, well, how do they feel? So you guys could have already done this. And now you're kind of in that stagnation part where it's just kind of silent. And you're like, well, you know, is it, what, what do I expect from this? You know, and it's like source is just telling you like it's remember if you guys start to feel uncertain about things to go within and see what it is that you need to heal within yourself. But knowing that you've opened up space to this connection space to be able to have this love, this completion, this fulfillment, this place of equal give and take and having boundaries and having growth and having stability, right? Look at all these, I mean, all the cup cards came out on the end here. Like, like, it's like you did this and it takes a little bit of time and then boom, all of a sudden happiness, fulfillment is coming in. It says pray for what you want. I feel like maybe this is an answered prayer. For a lot of you guys, like, you've been praying for this and, and you're still kind of on that precipice of, like, is it coming through? Is it coming through? Like, what do I do? And they're just saying, continue to pray. Your prayers are being heard. Like, don't give up on your prayers. Don't give up on your faith. Like, have faith that things are going to work out because they are. It says your, ba your bank account is growing soon. So, yeah, this is, like, to me... It's not saying that you guys, some of you guys could be getting money. I feel like this is more like your spiritual bank account. Like, I feel like this is, there's a deposit that's being made spiritually to you. That miracles and blessings card, definitely a confirmation of that. Like, this is something that you've been wanting for a long time. That answered prayer, it's coming through. It's like, suddenly it's there. And for some of you guys, it's like, you could be growing financially as well. It says, fighting is causing you stress. Yeah, I feel like you're fighting the fact that you told this person and now it's it's like silence and you're like um and so it's just like that resistance that I was telling you you both feel resistance like you think about 
here's the thing, Collective. Think about when you guys started learning the truth. Wasn't there still a portion of you that still resisted the truth? Like, even, even now as you grow, aren't there still portions of yourself that still resist the truth? But it's like as you've gotten used to that, you've gotten used to letting go of that resistance. It's like letting go and letting God. Like, you've gotten into that habit or letting go and letting love. Like, like you've gotten into that flow. Well, think about it. It feels like this is a first for this person. So they're asking you to really go back and think about when it first happened for you. Like how stressful was it for you to embody that energy of just letting go? It's not easy. That's not an easy place to do. So stop fighting this feeling of dread and rather just put yourself in this person's shoes right now. Like it's not that things aren't going to work out. It's just that sometimes we all need time to process things. Like did you answer the call the first time that you got told about the spiritual journey or did it take you a while you know for myself I know it took quite a while a year to be exact I remember the first time a person mentioned it to me and then I remember how I was like okay you know like I kind of wanted to believe it I wanted to believe in it I was trying to learn as much as I could about it but I still didn't believe it and then one day it just kind of like clicked for me and I was like all right cool it says rest before you burn out yeah, so don't overwork yourself. Don't stress yourself out. Don't don't overdo your like. I feel like you're you're pouring yourself into your work, and I feel like that's the thing. It's like you're you're trying to make up for this moment of stagnation. <laughs> so instead of being silent and becoming, it's like you're just trying to like pour yourself into your work and hope that it passes the time listen to your body yeah exactly like don't like that again rest before you burn out like maybe you guys work out a lot i just got that too like maybe you guys are working out a whole lot and your body is exhausted and tired and it's like you're just you're just trying to pass the time and it's like source is saying spend time in prayer spend time in meditation like spend time just being maybe maybe instead of working out doing breath work like like that does still have a huge effect on your body. If you're working out regularly, don't be afraid to take a break, you know, and that is hard to when you get into a habit of working out. Sometimes it's really hard to take a break because you're like, no, I like I like the way I feel after I work out. I need that. And again, that can become an addiction too. So just be careful of that. It says believing lies. Ooh. This is an interesting one. I feel like this person was believing lies before you came along. Like, they really felt like people had their best interest in mind until they met you. And then once they met you, they realized that all those people that they've talked to before just didn't even care about them. I feel like they didn't even care about what this person was feeling. And it's like you came in and within a short period of you just being honest and being authentic, it showed them that there are people who are different. I feel like maybe they felt different, but they've worked so hard to fit in that it's like now they're kind of like in this energy, like I want to let that go. I want to let go of trying to fit in. I want to let go of trying to be a certain place or a certain being. Binarial beats. What did I say? Like meditation would be good for you. And then we have binarial beats coming out. So listening to frequencies would be really good for you. Uh, calming frequencies, what's going on in the background. You guys hear the music. That's frequencies I have playing. It's angelic music. So it's, you know, just like being able to connect with your guides, your angels to source, to the creator, whatever it is. But listening to frequencies, just frequencies, not the ones that have affirmations spoken. Like this is just about being with silent music or just being with the music itself and allowing that music to flood your body to help you overcome the anxiety. Because I at first i'm just getting like a deep anxiety coming through with this so definitely like letting that go and it says never give up never quit you will make it so this is just source coming in saying that regardless of the outcome because we're all different we're all at different stages in our lives and we're all at different points on this journey regardless of the outcome don't give up because you're doing the right thing you did the right thing telling this person you did the right thing in bringing your truth to this person because beforehand they were just so busy trying to live a lie and now it's like you've made them second guess what it was that they were doing and I know that seems like a huge responsibility but it's not it's like without you this person could have died trying to fight for a losing cause you know trying to really try and stand on their own two feet with a situation that was just being an anchor in their lives and holding them back and 
It's like, is that scary? Yeah, that's scary. Are you scary? Yeah, you're probably really scary because you made this person see things from a different place, from a different light. And that's always scary. You know, like I said, just that, imagine how it was when you first realized it. You know, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. And then we have, I split the deck and it says the gates of heaven come up. Yeah, exactly. So this is like the divine working through you to try and save somebody that is really important at this time. And so I feel like that's the thing. It's like for you, it weighs a lot because of the manifestation in the physical realm. But like Source is trying to show you like it's okay regardless of the outcome of this situation. You saved one of the chosen and that was a huge gift. And that means more to Source than anything else. And you will get the blessings and miracles because of that. You've helped the chosen see the light and that, you know... It's really hard. It's like the chosen feel so lonely. And that's the thing I think as a collective, I feel like we feel when, when you're a chosen one, it's like you're fighting for something that you don't even know what you're fighting for. Like we have honesty. It was so funny. I thought this card was going to come out, but it came out when I shuffled the deck. So I'm glad I still kept it live. It says honesty is essential. Speak your speak with love and truth. And if you see this man's wearing a mask and she has her back turned to him. And I feel like that's you. Like it doesn't matter if you're man or woman. But I feel like you're the one that's turned your back. It was like you had to say your truth. And then it was like this person realized the mask that they are wearing. And they want to take it off. And they want to offer you some kind of love. You know? Again, this love coming out. Just confirmation here. Showing you that there's like something that's going to come of this. No matter what. There's And, and you can't just hold on to the fact that it's going to be this person. It might not be this person. It might be with somebody else. But here's the thing. It's like what you've done is triggered your destiny it's like triggered the next phase on your journey i heard divine timing oh my goodness sorry guys my nose just started itching like crazy okay yeah i heard divine timing came through really loud right now it was like this had to be happen when it happened because it couldn't happen sooner and it couldn't happen afterwards and there's also this knowing that this person has to to change who they are they have to sacrifice so much. Like there's a huge sense of sacrifice that's coming through here. And it's like, can you be okay with staying vigilant and true to your path and doing what you need to do to allow this person space to do what they need to do? And then when they come in, because I feel like they're going to, when they come in and ask for support, can you be the supporting you know, person in their life? Can you just show them love, unconditional love? Like, no matter how they show up, can you just show them love? You know, and, and I know that's hard for some people, but if you've been on this journey for any amount of time, Source is asking, just remain in that place of high vibrational energy, of high vibrational love, and give them the love that they deserve because everybody deserves that kind of love. And it might take work, right? It might take work to get to this point. But it's like love is easy once it's there, but when it's difficult... Can you still stay in that state of love? And that's what they're saying. It's like, I feel like this person is going to have to go through a lot. Again, we had legal situation come out, but they want to rush in with you. Like they definitely want to rush in with you. Like they want to be the hero to you, even though you were their hero. Oh my gosh, my nose is going crazy, guys. Like source is just laying it on thick right now. Okay. Sorry about that. They want you to know that they're tired of being manipulated. They're tired of being lied to. And I think that's the thing. It's like, that's why believing lies came out. It's like, like, they're just trying to tell you, like, I believed lies. And then you came along and you showed me the truth. You showed you like, you led me to the light. You led me to the light. You led me to the, to the, to the good, good. <laughs> that's what I heard, to the good, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh that was funny i'm sorry like sometimes when it comes out i don't even know why it's coming out it's just like no but that's what came out they're like you helped me see how people were tricking me and that opened up opened up a new path in my life it allowed me to like overcome like yeah it was like when you came into my life my whole life was turned upside down but even though it was turned upside down like it was for good it was for a higher purpose it was for a good cause and I feel like this person just wants, what do they think? They think that you saved their lives. Like, I want you guys to understand that. Like, they're just so grateful because they feel like you saved their lives. Like, they see how hard you work in your own life. And they're just, like, always thought that they didn't deserve that. They didn't deserve you. They didn't deserve to have something like this in their life because they needed to be approved by everybody else around them. And it's like, now that you came and you were honest and truthful with them, it was like, okay, you know, 
I see that there's more. I don't have to keep fighting society. I don't have to keep fighting this false belief that I need to be somebody I'm not. Like, I can stand up in my own power and... It's like I know this sounds silly, but they're gonna need your they're gonna need you to help hold their hand because they don't really know how to do it. They're news, like newbies. We've got some newbies on the journey here, guys. <laughs> but that's what Source is so happy about. It's like Source is glad that you helped this person come into the light when they'd been fighting it for so long. I think it had to take you with the light and the strength that you have in the in your light because you really are a beautiful energy to connect with. I think it had to take that so that you could show this person how to become the ultimate manifester. And it's interesting. I just shuffle. This is going to stop right now. But now I am going to stop because we've got the we've got the magician on the bottom here. We've got the magician on the bottom here. Like, look at that. They both came out together. That's so crazy. Yeah, you're helping this person overcome negativity and third-party toxic situations, addictions. They could have been addicted to something. And you're helping them overcome an addiction by... Showing them that it's okay, let's grow together. It's okay, let's grow together. Like, source, sending in somebody to help. That was you. That was you. You were sent in to help. Like, what a beautiful energy, guys. Like, you did the right thing. If you're wondering if you did the right thing or not, source is saying, don't worry, my child, because you did the right thing. You did what I asked you to. You answered the call. And the Miracle and Blessings card was not just for them. It was for you. It was for you. There's going to be miracles of blessings coming into your life. And that's such a beautiful energy. So don't ever feel like what you did was wrong. When you follow the truth, the truth will prevail. And the truth is the best way to go. And you will always be rewarded from source by following the truth. That's just the way that this whole journey works. It's, it's interesting. But the more, and I'm sure any of you guys know, when you've been on the spiritual journey for any amount of time, the more honest you are with yourself, the more it feels like things just kind of fall into place. And you're like, it's weird how that works. But that's why the more you lie to yourself, the more th like things kind of fall apart. It's the harder things get, the harsher the situation becomes. And the less likely it is to, f to play out in a good way for us. It's going to teach us a lesson. And the lesson is, is to always be honest with ourselves. And that's not honest with our emotional ego. That's honest with our soul. What does our soul want? And that's like, that's a really hard thing to listen to because the voice within is so quiet. The voice within is so quiet and, and it's like learning to listen to that inner voice and you did that and Source is just so proud of you and they're like, look, y'all, y'all are magic and you don't even know it. Y'all are magic and you don't even know it. Go be your magician self, y'all. Go manifest what you want. Spend time in stillness, okay? I love you guys. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful reading. I'm so excited I got to do this for you guys today. And I'm just so thankful to be here. And thank you so very much for those of you that stuck it out with me. I really appreciate your time, your most precious asset, you guys. It's it's a true, true honor and blessing. It really is. With that being said, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life laughter, and love. Until we meet each other again, peace out. I love y'all. Bye.